What is up friends? Today we are in my kitchen because today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a Chipotle dupe. We are gonna be making barbacoa that tastes just like Chipotle's barbacoa in the Instant Pot. It takes 30 minutes, it is so easy, so delicious, and I'm gonna show you how to do it today because I have been loving this dish for the last few months. And one of the great things about this recipe is that it does not just have to be done in the Instant Pot. You can easily turn this into a crock pot recipe as well. So I'm gonna show you everything that you're gonna need, how we're gonna cook it, and you are going to make this. Your family's gonna love it. They're gonna think you need your own cooking show on the Food Network channel. You're going to need one medium onion that we are going to dice. You're also gonna need some tissues to dry your eyes when you cry from the onions. We're gonna do about a quarter cup of lime juice, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. You will need one tablespoon of tomato paste. You will also need two teaspoons of salt. I like to use the pink fine Himalayan salt. Two teaspoons of oregano. Two teaspoons of chipotle powder, but I don't have that on hand, so I'm going to do chili powder instead. One tablespoon of cumin, and half a teaspoon of clove. You are also going to need six cloves of garlic, but because I don't mind if my breath is rank, I like to use more than six, and if you don't have garlic cloves on hand, you can use garlic powder, which is what I'm going to do today. You're also going to need about three quarters of a cup of orange juice. I like to use fresh oranges, but if you don't have fresh oranges on hand, you can totally use store-bought orange juice. That's just as fine as well. And now we get to work on my least favorite part, which is chopping up a hunk of meat. You are gonna wanna cut the beef into cubes because we are going to sear it before we add it to the Instant Pot or Crock Pot, whichever method you are choosing to use. Okay, we are going to put this here heavy pan of meat. We're gonna move all the meat into the Instant Pot. There's nothing else in it right now. Uh, but we're gonna layer the meat on the bottom first. So if you are doing this in a crock pot, the only difference is that you are going to cook it a little bit longer. This whole process is going to take about 30 minutes in the Instant Pot. You're gonna wanna cook this for like eight to 10 hours in your crock pot. I've mixed all of my spices, apple cider vinegar, orange juice, tomato paste, all of it together, and we are gonna pour that in over the browned meat. Then you will add in your onions and your garlic. And that is it. We are gonna put the lid on the Instant Pot. We are going to plug it in because that will help in the cooking process. <laughs> you're gonna let it pressure cook for 30 minutes. And then once the timer goes off, you're gonna let it naturally release for another 20 minutes before you open it up and stuff your face. Now you can serve this with an array of things. If you are keto or low carb, I would serve it with like vegetables. I personally like to enjoy it with some cilantro lime rice. So the next time you need a dinner recipe that is going to rock the socks off of your family, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whoever, try this recipe out. You're gonna love it, they're gonna love it, and you can thank me later.